The Institute of Professional Engineers says its recent assessment of Mlago National Referral Hospital reveals that out of the six standby generators, only one that serves the assessment center area at the old Mlago is functional. The rest of the hospital complex has faulty and non-functional backup generators, meaning they cannot be used in case of a power blackout. We have only two generators, one is not operating in Lower Mlago, and that's where the, the theaters are located. Now imagine that somebody is being operated upon and there is power failure. 30 seconds for a generator to start, even if it is automatic. These 30 seconds, definitely somebody will be dead. In its report, the institute also claims that the staff in charge of the engineering department of the hospital are not competent and neither are they registered professional engineers. Our team uh, found out that none of the staff is a registered engineer, nor a member of the Ugandan Institution of Professional Engineers, because which is not acceptable. Somebody who is heading the whole engineering is not registered and is a matter of serious concern. But the hospital administration has trashed the report and referred to the assessment as baseless and not true. As management, I don't, we don't remember this group coming around to examine anything. Unless if they are doing pro professional professing. We have generators, even if we moved around, you could see them. They are standby generators. And wherever the, there is power shortage, the generator goes on automatically. But these are machines, anytime they can be faulty and be repaired. The engineers in Murago are recruited by public service and Health Service Commission. They advertise, the people apply, they go through a normal process, the competent ones are chosen by the competent committees and commissioners, and they are sent to Mulago. Uh, I've seen them saying that they disassociate from the engineers in Mulago. Mulago as well distances itself from their statement. The assessment by the professional engineers followed reports of the death of 15 patients at the hospital following a power blackout. The hospital administration dismisses this as a rumor spread during the recent political heat to facilitate campaigns. I don't know of any situation where 15 people would die out of negligence and Mulago or the government of Uganda is not sued. The, the professionals are jumping on the rumor and making it a basis for their discussion and condemnation of the process, which to me I think is unfair. Nevertheless, the Institution of Professional Engineers recommends the repair or replacement of all its backup system and a review of the power supply system for the hospital. Michael Baleke, 